Hello students. Uh, today's lesson is very interesting and is very important. Especially if you want to speak fluent French, then you must know the pronouns. It is not uh, the regular pronouns that we are doing. It is all about the object pronoun. Now, what is object pronoun? First of all, let us try to understand the same thing in English so that you would understand it in a better way. I will write a sentence. For example, I would say, Srishti buys a car. Now, have you seen that Srishti, Srishti, now Srishti is your subject in English. Now, look at this word, buys, it is verb and a car is object. Okay. Now, what are the object noun? Object noun ka matlab ye hota hai, aap isko aise samjhe, Srishti, who is the subject or the agent, who is doing the action, this is action and this action is done on the object. Now this object is also a noun. So object noun, uh, there are two types of object noun, direct object direct object and indirect object. Now, direct object and indirect object. So, when you, when, when, when you notice the direct object and when you notice the indirect object. Now, this direct object always answers what? What? or who direct object will answer, will always answer what or who so what srishti buys then the answer is car so this car is the direct object this is direct object but in french to understand the uh, how to write direct object especially when you are writing the pronouns of the direct object then it is a bit tricky not tough but a bit tricky let me change the names into its pronouns so srishti i will write she she buys it now this it what is this it it in english is a pronoun pronoun used instead of noun which noun this noun the noun is car so when you are saying it so this it refers to a car okay now in french the car is voiture but in french we have to take this into account uh, if your object is masculine then you will write it in a different way and if your object is feminine then you will write it the pronoun it in a very different way now they are different but not tough so first i will write for you what are the direct object pronouns right how to write direct object pronoun then in uh, the next part we will do uh, how to write the direct and the direct object pronoun, indirect object pronoun in a form of a simple sentence. Okay. So, before we take it into account, let us say, okay, first I will write direct object pronouns. Now, direct object pronouns in french it is ma 
तो ल एंड ला देन यू हैव दिस नू वु एंड ले नो वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस म इन इंग्लिश दिस म इज मी दिस द इज यू रिमेंबर दैट इन इन सब्जेक्ट प्रोनाउन इट इज ट्यू वॉट आर द सब्जेक्ट प्रोनाउन आई विल राइट वंस अगेन सो दैट यू अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंस ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट प्रोनाउन एंड द सब्जेक्ट प्रोनाउन यू नो द सब्जेक्ट प्रोनाउन सब्जेक्ट pro nouns now what are the subject pronoun it is je it is tu it is il l it is uh, nu vu and il l so these are the subject pronouns and these are the object pronoun so what is this object pronoun for me it is ma now for you it is the now this la is him and this la is her so him and her this nu is us this wo is you and this le is them so do you understand the direct object pronoun it is ma ta la la nu wu and le now how to use these uh, object pronoun let us understand so we can understand using few examples for example she reads a book now look at this sentence if i change this book instead of book i can also write she reads it right so when i say she reads it what this is it is a book book in french you know livre and livre is masculine okay so she reads it now understand the formula of writing a sentence using subject and object pronouns in french so what is the formula in english it is jaise she reads it so this is subject verb or object in hindi उसने उसे पढ़ा सो इन हिंदी इट इज सब्जेक्ट प्लस ऑब्जेक्ट प्लस वो द सेम स्टैंड ट्रू इन हिंदी एज वेल एज इन फ्रेंच तो फ्रेंच में आपका इंस्टेड आई शुड राइट सब्जेक्ट प्रोनाउंस प्लस ऑब्जेक्ट प्रोनाउन प्लस वो नाउ व्हाट इज द सब्जेक्ट प्रोनाउन हेयर शी सो यू विल राइट l then for livre what is the word that i should use for livre now look here it is la look here sabse bottom pe la ye jo la hai isko aap use karoge so l l plus object pronoun la li so the sentence is l la li she reads it so i suppose you understand ki uh, how this uh, the object pronoun makes a difference okay now the next part uh, but before moving more let us give few few more ex examples so that you will understand the entire of uh, the direct object pronoun in a better way 
जैसे हम स्टार्ट करते हैं कुछ एग्जाम्पल से मैं आपको समझाता हूं I read the email. Now I read the email. तो आप इसको कैसे लिखते हो ज ली ल मेल आई रीड द ई मेल ल मेल अब इस ल की जगह केवल एक सिंपल ल यूज कर सकते हो आप इसका मतलब इट होता है तो आई रीड इट ज ल ली ज ल ली ओके वाई ल बिकॉज मेल इज मैस्कुल अब सपोज करो कि जैसे इंस्टेड ऑफ यही वाला ली ले लेते हैं पर आई रीड द आर्टिकल तो आई रीड द आर्टिकल ज अब रीड द आर्टिकल तो आप इसको बोलते हो ज ली लार्टिकल आर्टिकल इज ऑल्सो मैस्कुल अब आपको कहना है आई रीड इट आई रीड इट अवेल यू राइट ज ली इट वुड रिमेन सेम ज ल ली एंड इवन यू कैन गो फॉर मोर नंबर ऑफ एग्जाम्पल्स द मोर नंबर ऑफ एग्जाम्पल्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई रीड द पेपर पेपर मतलब न्यूज पेपर तो ज ली ल जूर्नाल दिस इज ऑल्सो मैस्कुल आप कहोगे ज ल ली अंडरस्टैंड नो वॉट इफ योर ऑब्जेक्ट इज फैमिन वॉट इज If your object is feminine, so let us do few examples of feminine. I watch television. I watch television. So you can write j. रेकार्ड ला टेलीविजियो ज रेकार्ड ला टेलीविजियो नाउ इफ यू वॉन्ट टू राइट इट आई वॉच इट नाउ दिस इट इज ला टेलीविजियो एंड इट इज फैमिन सो यू विल राइट ज ला रेकार्ड वाई ज ला रेकार्ड सब्जेक्ट प्रोनाउ ऑब्जेक्ट प्रोनाउन प्लस वो ओके आई लुक एट द एट स्टार स्टार नाउ स्टार इज लेतुआल एंड मैन आई एम राइटिंग लेतुआल इट इज फैमिन जेकार्ड ले तुआल ज रेकार्ड ले तुआल बट आई लुक एट I took it. I देखो अगर आप यहां पर watch बोलते हो तो I watch it but look अगर आप लगाते हो तो look के साथ I look at it. Okay? तो ये हो जाएगा ज ला 
regard. Je la regard. Um, she is looking at the moon. Now, moon is, you know, moon is new and it is feminine. So, I will use la. She is looking at it. How will you write L la regard? Understand? Clear? So, this is how we can use the indirect, uh, sorry, the direct object pronoun uh, to uh, what you call to help you to build uh, the simple and the short French phrases. Now, let's change the subject. I am writing few interesting sentences. Let us put it in a form of a dialogue. Uh, are you meeting Jagriti and Varsha? Are you meeting Jagriti and Varsha? Now, ye agar common up question push to are you meeting Vijay and Rohan? Are you meeting whatever the name is? Uh, but when you are answering, you are not saying, yes, I am meeting Jagriti and Varsha. Yeah, no, I am not meeting Jagriti and Varsha. Instead of saying Jagriti and Varsha, you will use them. Okay, so let us say, uh, your answer is yes. Yes, we are meeting them at noon we are meeting them at noon now sabse pehle isko now what what is what is the verb that we should use for meeting it is r through way r through way r through way r through way एक वर्ब और होता है रॉकॉन्ट्रे वो भी ऐसा ही होता है रा थ्रू वे सो रा थ्रू वे इज द क्लासिकल ई आर फॉर्म ऑफ वर्ब एंड फॉर देम नाउ लुक एट द दिस स्लाइड वेयर आई हैव यूज्ड फॉर देम एट द बॉटम ऑफ दिस लुक एट दिस वर्ड देम ले दिस इज देम ओके द सेम I will use in this slide. Are you meeting Jagriti and Varsha? So, how would you frame the question? Eska Wu Ratru Ve Jagriti A Varsha. अब इसका जो आपने आंसर दिया है दिस आंसर इसको आप लिखोगे यस सो वी वी आर मीटिंग सो न्यू ऑब्जेक्ट प्रोनाउन ले र थ्रू वो आ मिति Nu le ratru wo. Now, uh, see, this is subject pronoun. This is object pronoun. And please notice that this verb is always conjugated using the subject pronoun. Please do not make this object pronoun as the part of your conjugation. So, the verb would be conjugated only using the subject pronoun and not the other way. So, 
how to use them nu vi nu le ratruvo a midi nu le ratruvo a midi um jaise is krish is krish ordering the let us say pizza now what is pizza it is in french la pizza as you know that it is feminine so la pizza it is feminine is krish ordering the pizza so s her monsieur krish now ordering the verb is command the verb is commande the verb is commande 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 ka matlab to command nahi to order hum restaurant or uh, hotels mein jo hum order karte hain for that we use commande commande so if the answer is yes yes he is or drink it now this it is for la la kyunki ye pizza aapka feminine hai to aap kaise likhoge isko v il la command v il la command so understand let us do few exam uh, example uh, where you face the problem like uh, your verb is uh, uh, your verb start with a vowel sound so how do you um, sort out this, this problem if your verb is start with the uh, um, vowel sound for example i am buying a car i am buying a car now this car is feminine so i will write la voiture la voiture so instead of car i will use la and i am buying it it so it is je now car is feminine so you use la and the word is a shet a shet but please notice that this a this both are similar sounding words vowels so what is happening here this a will lose its sound and it becomes je la shet je la shet je la shet jalashit ka matlab hota hai i am buying it now you can use this uh, for any word i am buying it like uh, car cheese pen etc any object i am buying it now um for example um, kakhan likes you right now kakhan of this you so ye jo you hai ye aapka dekho first wale slide pe sabse pehle yahan pe jo you humne use kiya hai uske liye humne kya use kiya hai 
the 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 here. So I will use the Kathan the aim Kathan the aim. But the sentence is not correct. Why? Because once I here it is a and this is a so it would drop its sound you know this process is known as la song kathan tem kathan tem kathan tem okay um jaise signs interest me a lot science interest me a lot now this me me ke liye kya tha me ke liye ma tha ma m e now he is ko english mein to me bolte hain aur french mein isko bolenge hum ma so science interest me a lot la science right let us do one or two more examples just say negative mai batata hu just say negative mein negative sentences now negative sentence mein object pronoun कैसे काम में आते हैं जैसे सिंपल सिंपल सेंटेंस लेते हैं यू डोंट वॉच टीवी वो न रिकार दे पा ला तेले what if if i would write it you don't watch it you don't watch it so how will you write wo na la regarde pa understand so when you are using this object pronoun in a negative sentence always understand that it is always followed by na do not write la na then it is wrong most of the student they commit this mistake writing la na so you are not supposed to write like this wo na la regarde pa wo na la regarde pa for example i am not going to buy the cake i am not going to buy the cake now i am not going to buy the cake je ne we pa ashte lo gato el na we pa ashte lo gato el na we pa ashte lo gato now when you are writing i am not 
going to buy it i'm not going to buy it how will you write j n j n v pa बाय तो आपका जो वर्ब है इससे पहले यहां पे आएगा ला शे ला शे सो आई सपोज यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट हाउ दीज वंडरफुल देर आर स्मॉल सेंटेंसेस बट यू कैन इमेजिन बाय ट्रांसलेटिंग दैम इन इंग्लिश और हिंदी that uh, they are the very part and parcel of your daily communication aap kisi bhi bhasha mein baat karte hain aap english mein karte hain aap hindi mein karte hain whatever the language you are uh, speaking without understanding the object pronoun uh, your language is incomplete so in the beginning i said that uh, there are two types of object pronoun but before closing it let me give you few wonderful short phrases there are uh, wonderful expressions and uh, when you are using all these wonderful expressions in your day to day language it seems quite uh, colloquial language for example wasi and wala now wasi and wala you regularly use these st statements but is ka matlab hota hai here is or here are there is or there are so if you are saying la wasi la wasi or say for example la wala so you will write there it is yes, because this la would uh, 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 this uh, is the translation of what you say it in english so there it is where is the pen there it is now where is the car so in, when you are saying car then instead of la you would say la wala ला वाला इसका भी मतलब होता है देयर इट इज फॉर एग्जाम्पल आप कहा हो तो आप बोलते हो ना मैं यहां हूं तो आप कहते हो ना मी मी आई एम हेयर इवन इफ यू आर नॉट यूजिंग मी देन आई एम हेयर तो इसको सिंपल आप कह सकते हो ma was it's a very common french expression that means i am here ma was it ma was it so when you understand um, the direct object pronoun what is the most important thing to understand while writing sentences in direct object pronoun first of all when you come across a sentence and when you are framing a sentence into french in french language then you must know that the direct object pronouns are for me it is ma for you it is the for him it is la har ke liye hum use karte hain la for us we are using nu for you we are using wo and for them we are using le so ma ta la nu wo le ma ta la nu wo le six subject pronouns hote hain aur usi tarike se six aapke object pronouns bhi hote hain direct object pronoun 
and when we start this chapter i said that uh, there are two types of object pronoun the first is direct object pronoun and the second is indirect object pronoun so uh, today we have completed the direct object pronoun in the next lesson we would start with the indirect object pronoun thank you